Well, welcome to the Zwiftcast to Simon Warren. Simon, I've been, I've been wrestling with how to introduce you and I've kind of finally settled on the man who knows more about legendary cycling climbs than anybody else in the world. I'll, I'll give you some air, blow your own trumpet. That, that may be stretching it a little bit. Set my stall out as the expert and uh, documented you know, over 500 of them now. So Yeah, and, and I mean, these are, these are reflected in, in visual spectacle in your, your wonderful books. 100 Greatest Climbs is probably, it's probably the most famous, isn't it? Have you, yes. have you, have you, have you got more? 100 Climbs, that's the, that's the one that started it all. Yeah. 100 Great Cycling Climbs. Uh, we followed that with another 100 Great Cycling Climbs, which is the sequel. Yeah. So they're all still based in Britain. Um, after that, we went really ambitious, I did the 100 greatest climbs of the Tour de France. <laughs> so I rode uh, 100 mountains in one summer, best summer I've ever wow. had. Well, I mean, it, that's a significant body of work. And I, I, I think we're now convinced that, you know, when it comes to climbs, you, you know what you're talking about. Yes. So a British magazine asked you to do a piece, which I read and, and saw, was yes. r- really, really fascinating uh, because it was you tackling the Alpe du Zwift. Uh, and I mean, with your kind of heritage and knowledge of climbs, that was interesting. But what yes. was also interesting is that is it you were new to Zwift? I've had a long-standing relationship with Outdoors, um, and every year I've ridden it at least once. So I've made that my thing now. I have to go to the app once and then smash an effort out up. So I know it inside out. Um, I've never used Zwift. I have scoffed at people when it's a sunny day. Why, why are you on Zwift? Zwift, get out and get outside. You know, yeah. uh, you know, why are you sitting inside? It's not real. Uh, <laughs> but then, then the app came up, and I thought. Now, now I'm really intrigued. I need, I need to try this. So I put a little message out on Twitter, um, and then Matt Payne got back to us straight. Okay, so I'm come over, come use my setup. Uh, we had a, a familiarisation session, which really I went away with my eyes like this. I mean, like you know, we don't play many computer games in this house. So I don't have much access to these sort of virtual worlds. It was like this is awesome, you know. It was immersive. It was a bit of a shock when you first ride it, especially the gradient changes. Yeah, because you sort of in a real road, you'll see it a bit more. So. You, there was nuances which we had to get used to before we could actually have our attempt. Yeah. From yeah. being a, a sceptic, you were kind of an instant convert, not not to a substitution for outdoors. And, you yeah. know, Zwift would never even say that they are that, but as, as a complement to outdoors. Yeah, I've got a turbo and I don't use it as, as much, but I do intervals every now and again. And 45 minutes lasts a lifetime. Mm. We spent two hours on there and it just like that. So if you know purely if you want to enjoy your time riding indoors and to have a focus to it and a purpose to it, but then you know the the, the really interesting thing that you can and perhaps only you can comment on is 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 how well they replicated outdoors. So what what did you find, given that you've been up and down this mountain more times than most of us have, have had hot dinners? You said the last five or six years since the advent of, of Strava, really, really trying to ride it hard to, to get a better time each time. Mm. I've sort of become quite tuned into the you know, the, the gradients, the, the rest you get around the corners, and how you use that to rather you know change up, push on, or just hold back and spin. And these are the things I wanted to test. So I was going right. Have they got this right? Have they got this right? Of course, your surroundings are completely different. You you don't see the great views down into the valley and stuff. I, I was concentrating on was the tarmac and how it felt. Um, and honestly, you know, I think it, it was it was dead right. And, and the actual shape of the road w- w- was perfect. And I knew where I was. Always in my real life efforts, when I get to the bend four, I just want it to end. And I, I mean, really, and I'd paced it just right, and I was exactly the same thing. I had Matt there shouting at me, come on, Simon, come on. There's a, there's a lot more sort of road furniture around you, a lot more to distract you from the, the pure suffering, because that's a really long stretch. See the gantry, come on. Massive splash, come on. Yeah, yeah, then three to two, and then one was just turmoil. So I finished with, I think, on the Zwift segment, 43.50. Ah! Ah, that hurt. Um, whereas my time in real life is 49.45. 
Mm. But it, yeah, it, it, I thought it was it was bang on, and I was really really impressed. So I just want to know what they're working on next. Oh, every, you know? uh, yeah, everybody yeah. wants to know that. Yeah, I want to see when when's the tourmalade turning off. When's Von Two turning <laughs> off? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's always great to to hear a convert, you know, yes. because uh, those of us who've, who've got the kilometres in On Swift do do kind of know how useful it is. And, yeah. Uh, uh, particularly someone like you, like I say, you know, with your intimate knowledge of, of, of mountains and, and hills and climbs. Really, really great to talk to you, Simon. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thanks for having me. Viewers and listeners who might be wanting to take some of that indoor fitness outside this summer, perhaps to the great climbs of the tour, might be interested in Simon's app. It uses your phone's GPS to navigate you to the base of climbs, keep score of how many you've done, allows you to check the climb's fact file and see who is the current KOM or QOM, a very useful tool for the travelling grumper.